Yes. Good evening and welcome to the Down Under Mastermind call for the 27th of August. Tonight we have on our call Kelly Petering. Good evening, Kelly. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Awesome. So, so what have you been up to? You've been in what have I been up to? About 18 months cool. now, was it? Was it more? Yeah, roughly. Roughly about 18 months. Um, and yeah, at, at the moment I'm, I'm doing a lot of different things actually, which is how I like it to be. Um, I like a bit of variety. And um, I suppose uh, start sort of at the beginning. When I started SFM, I was looking to build my own business, um, in particularly online. So I wanted to learn how I could build my own website and, and be able to market that um, for my own business. And um, really, that, that, that's what I've used it for. But I have, um, I've also found some pretty cool, I suppose, added bonuses along the way. I've learned a few little, um, little tricks that I've uh, been able to turn also into um, almost like a side business as well, which is what I love. But that, that's all about multiple streams of income, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so one of, I suppose, the more unexpected side of things was when I was first starting out and looking into um, getting a logo made for my own website, getting a few things done for my own website, and um, coming across Fiverr. And um, I thought, oh, this is pretty cool, uh, you know. Um, never really thought there was anything like that out there. And so I decided, i uh, um, previously done, uh, have a degree in acting and have worked as a performer and voiceover artist in the past. And so I decided that, hey, I'll, you know, create my own gig on Fiverr and um, as a voiceover artist and just see how it goes, you know, give it a shot. So how they and, go? Um, yeah, well, now I'm averaging between about $800,000 a month on, on Fiverr, just doing voiceovers here and there, you know, takes that's cool. a couple, maybe a couple of hours a month and that's, you know, just a nice little side bit of income that takes hardly any time at all, which is very nice. Um, so I often use that as, as my marketing budget for, um, for my own business and ads that I'm running. At any given time, so it's like a a nice little boost for my marketing budget, <laughs> and and that's that's just kept kept growing. So uh, when I first started um, on Fiverr, it was it was quite slow to start with, but um yeah, I've probably been doing that for maybe nine months now. So, um, so how did you increased. how did you increase that, or was that just through time and and getting um yeah, I think I think a lot about is through time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, getting feedback. getting good review. Yeah, getting feedback and things like that. Um, I I think especially on Fiverr, as with anything, as with any kind of business that you're running, you know, customer service is is what it's all about. So actually being nice to people and writing little notes and um, just having a more personal touch than um, I believe some other people on sites like Fiverr or Elance or any of those outsourcing sites. Yeah. You know, when when people order something from me, then I definitely make an effort to take an interest and you know, be more personal about it. And that generally seems to get pretty good feedback. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, that was, that was one of the, I suppose, added bonuses that I've picked up through, you know, learning things through SFM. Um, as I mentioned, the, the main reason that I started was to learn um, how to build my own business online and um, yeah so just learning odd bits and pieces here and there and and even the resources like you know things that are suggested for example Fiverr um, was one yeah. that yeah just happened to work for me so that was cool. All right. Um, and I suppose other, other things that, that I've got going on at the moment, I'm also um, doing a bit of personal coaching and also leadership development. So working with teams or individuals that are, are looking to progress in their chosen field. So I've created, through the studies of this, I'm being able to create my own online program and uh, for leadership development. 
and um, yeah, actually been able to put that together myself, which is really cool. Um, I'm pretty proud of <laughs> pretty <laughs> proud of myself for, for being able to do that, create my own online course, um, and you know, link that all up to to PayPal and and be able to either have it as a, a like an additional membership site income stream, yeah. but then also to be able to use it for specific groups that want a more personal approach. So with them, I would do more webinars, more one-on-one -on -one discussions, things like that. So it's almost multifaceted. But then that's, that's what ECFM, I mean, they say that they're, they're there. it's not just about promoting ECFM, it's about creating or learning the skills so you can build a, build a business of your choice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and I suppose on that note as well, I mean, just being able to to build my own website and having learned how to do that over time um, has, a, I suppose, attracted some attention from um, people that I've either been studying with um, in my coaching and training business side of things um, or just other people in general. And so I've um, also created a bit of a side income doing that as well, just building simple websites for for other businesses and um, yeah, small businesses that, that need a bit of a hand. And I also um, coach them through it so they can actually then take the reins and be able to post their own blogs and, and do all that kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And you did yeah. some workshops as well, didn't you? you yeah, yeah, I did. One, so yeah. one or two? Yeah, I, I've, only, yeah, I've only done one workshop so far um, and yeah, I mean, it, it went really well. There were definitely some things that I'd change. I just um, I haven't been able to book in another one as of yet. Um, but, yeah, that, so that workshop was to build your website in a day, and that was fairly simple WordPress website building workshop, um, which, yeah, every participant was able to, to build their own um, just basic website within the day that we were there throughout the workshop. So I said help them and... Um, do a little bit along the way. Cool. Yeah, so that was that was a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> and I mean, obviously, I'm I'm in outback Western Australia, so um, running sometimes workshops regularly is, is a bit of a yeah, problem. That that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, when I do get back to Melbourne um, in the future, that's that's certainly uh, a way that I could a path that I could go down, I suppose. Yeah. But at the moment, I've got a few other things on my plate. <laughs> Yeah, well, you, you did that um, it was a, a, a holiday retreat thing, was it? Yeah, um, that's actually coming up oh. soon. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, so not yet. Not yet, no. Oh, so just, just the plan. And, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's also coming up soon, and that's in regards to um, coaching. Also, in the past, I've um, worked as a personal trainer and, um, and also a tour guide, so I have... I suppose combined my skills and uh, and decided to to go out and create my own tour and base that around health and fitness and um, um, yeah a bit of bit of coaching and things like that in there as well. So pretty exciting. Yeah, that's been my that's been my dream for for quite a while. So <laughs> and and being able to um, do things like promote that without having to pay out thousands and thousands of dollars to somebody else to build a website to you know do, run face, facebook campaigns and all that kind of thing it's um it's you know whether at the start when you are starting your own business there are so many costs as it is to be able to do that yourself even though it does take more time i think is really a bonus yeah 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 so, um, so when, when, when's that trip and how long is it for? Um, at, the, at this point, it's at the end of October. All right. Um, and there's also another one planned for January sometime. Cool. Yeah. And how long is that for? Yeah. That's a five-day five day trip. All right. From the Gold Coast to Sydney. Sounds like a, a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know what what else um, you guys would like to know about or... Um, well, we can open it up for questions if questions? you like. Yeah, sure. I have a question for Kelly. 
Um, oh, who's speaking? Sandra. Yes, Sandra, how are you doing, mate? Good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, can you tell us a little bit about where you were, um, like when you first came across the SFM? Oh, sure. Um, okay. See, I, I can't actually say a particular ad that I clicked on because I have no idea. Um, <laughs> most likely on Facebook. <laughs> um, but then again, it may not have been. <laughs> um, but yeah, I somehow came through via um, Marie's emails. And I remember actually um, sitting on my bus one day just watching the, the training series. I thought, oh, I'll just like wait until I've got them all and then I'll watch each one individually. And <laughs> um, so I definitely remember watching the training series and, um, and yeah, it just kind of happened from there. And I thought, oh, this is really cool because that was at the time what I was really looking for is was to be able to um, build my own business and with the help of online marketing. Cool. So you were already working for somebody at the time, were you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, and, and still am, so I still have another job as well. I work as both a bus driver and an emergency management officer up in the mines in WA. Um, and then I also have my, I suppose you call it side businesses. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have come across a word actually quite recently that I love. It's multi potentialite, and I'm absolutely claiming that title. <laughs> cool, cool. You a, a what was that again? Multi potentialite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which means? You might have to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it basically means that I like to do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, so you definitely keep busy, hey. Um, yeah. Do you remember any of your struggles when you first started out in the SFM going through the training modules? Can you remember anything that like sort of like really scared you or sort of set you back and made you wonder if you had like had gone around the bend and thought, you know, what am I doing here? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I, I really, um, I suppose, started off really strong and I was like, like, like with anything new that you start, you're like, yes, I'm totally going to, do this like every single day and go through every, you know, be on every webinar and do this and do this and, and just, you know, completely burnt myself out because I was doing a million other things as well. Um, and so I think uh, when I took a step back and said, okay, you know what? You don't actually have to be on every single webinar. You can just pick and choose or watch the recording. That's fine. You don't have, no one expects you to be on every single webinar or to, to do everything in a specific time frame. You know, it's open-ended and, and that's what I, I really enjoy about it is that it is self-paced so that you can take your time going through the modules. If you are working another job or if you do have other things going on, then I think in order to avoid that burnout that I think a lot of people experience because there is so much information and there's so much great content um, that it is possible to kind of overload yourself and then go, oh, my God, I just have completely lost my mind with everything that's going on. Definitely, yeah, yeah. We, we tend to sort of get a little bit overwhelmed and frustrated when we first start, don't we? Because we're like, we yeah. are we're like kids in a candy shop. We just go at it full pelt. Um, yeah. Actually, we attend every live webinar. And I, I guess, uh, you know, we do come to a burnout point. Mm. Um, but... Um, you know, I do. I have noticed. I don't know if you've noticed with a lot of people, and this is just in life in general. Um, like some people bounce back from their burnout points, and other people don't bounce back. So, what do you feel was instrumental in helping you bounce back from your burnout point? Was it like your your drive to, you know, definitely be successful in your own business, or you know, was it there yeah there um, that tipping point? Yeah, cats not. I, I think um, for me, I like I absolutely love learning, and I lap up any kind of learning. Um, and when I hit that point, when I was like, "Whoa, this is way too much!" On top of my other course that I'm doing, on top of work, on top of everything else, um, it just you know it took a moment for me to capture my thoughts and go, "Okay, so 
what are the really important things that I need to do? What are the really important things that I need to know? Because not everything in the training module for me was so important to know right then and there. So there were some things that I thought, okay, well, I want to work on that first, so I'll do that now. And then when I get down to, say, YouTube marketing, or when I get down to, which, you know, I haven't even got to that yet. So, <laughs> so, the, so there's so many things that I thought, okay, I can hold off on that now because I'm, you know, in the next two weeks, I'm probably not going to get to it. So mm -hmm. just, I think, being a little bit more realistic with myself and, and my time and everything else that I have going on was to just prioritise, really. And, and that is something, actually, that I'm quite good at is time management and, and prioritising. Um, so once I've gotten over the overwhelm, I was like, huh. Okay, just organise yourself now and get back to what you're good at. Set a, set a schedule and, and look at what you actually need to look at rather than looking at absolutely everything. Mm, yeah, I totally agree with you there. It's yeah, great advice. You, you, you've got to sort of go with what's, um, what's relevant to you at the time and what part of the business you're building at the time, hey? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there, I mean, the back office is incredible. There is so much training in there. Um, and, you know, it might take one evening or two evenings to go through and, and look at what's there and then write down a list of the things that, you know, in the next week even that you want to look at um, or that you're actually up to in that point in your business. Mm, yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Laundry? May I ask? Because, um, I mean, I, I remember um, a long time ago having a bit of a chat to you about people making money on fibre and stuff like that uh, before you yep. got going on fibre. Where did the idea come in for the voiceovers for videos? Like did, did somebody, like did you have a friend or a family member who said that to you or did it just like, was it just something that you knew you could do? Um, like, I, I mean I studied like, acting. I studied acting at university and, um, and that was one of my passions was the voice classes and accents, things like that. I absolutely loved vocal training and um, it was actually through I was recording my voice for the other course that I was doing um, with Audacity which is just a free program that you can download online and you can just record your voice and I was recording something for that and I sent it to a few people and they're like oh my gosh that sounds really professional it sounds really good and I was like oh okay well you know maybe I'll just give this five a thing a go because literally I just use these headphones as a microphone and um, <laughs> free program. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and um, so getting really good reviews on that, I was like, well, this is, yeah, definitely so, worth a shot. So that's really cool. So, um, so you found the training in the SFM that obviously would have helped you with your understanding of setting it setting yourself up on Fiverr. I mean, I know it's yep. not that hard to set up on Fiverr, but some people look at it and they sort of think, oh my goodness, I couldn't do anything like that. Um, yep. But I guess some of the training from the SFM um, yeah. helps you understand that, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure, you know, I, I, I can't actually remember, but I'm sure it was SFM that I actually heard about Fiverr. I don't know where mm. else I would have heard about it. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I think they mentioned it. it. Fiverr quite yeah. often in some of his yeah. videos when he talks about outsourcing. Yes. So, yeah. But I don't and, think I mean, a lot of the members realise you can actually set yourself up on Fiverr and actually make money on Fiverr like you do yeah. with your voiceovers. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't have to be voiceovers. It could be, it could be it could anything. Be anything I, I think, yeah, even for a while I was... Um, Oh, I hope this is okay, but using the graphics creator to, to do a few ebook covers, um, yeah, and that's, that's not partic not particularly my passion, um, and so I kind of um, got a bit sick of getting those orders. So I much prefer the voiceovers. <laughs> um, so I did cancel that gig after a while, but I mean that's definitely something that that you can do and people are interested in. So, so cool. So you're using the graphics creator to do ebook yeah. covers for people, and you were like, and they were paying you to do the ebook. Yes, cover, and yep. you're using graphics creator in the FFM. Yeah. So see how cool, how easily linked was that? That that is yeah. just a complete smooth transcript. And I mean, it's something that I try and explain to people, but yeah. um, 
without having somebody like you here to actually vocally state that. Um, yeah, it's definitely possible. Because it's an actual tool that we can sell, the graphics it is. creator. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we can get a commission off of it. So, And um, even with some of the voiceovers, if I know that um, the client is creating an actual CD or something like that, then I will always um, offer if they want me to create like a CD cover. So with graphics credit, you can get, create those CD covers as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, yeah, some of them go with that as well. So that's awesome. So the SFM has got tools, has made tools available for you now yeah. that you can expand on and sort of add options into your main. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Definitely. really cool. So how, how would how would one sort of go up? So if I, say, did a video up in, say, PowerPoint, use PowerPoint to make a video, right? So say I've got yep. some animated characters together and put together a, a sales video um, on, you know, internet marketing or something. Would I then find you on Fiverr and, and give you the video and you add the voiceover to it or...? Yeah, I have that option. So I have, so the way Fiverr works is you have a basic $5 option. So my $5 gig is a voiceover for 150 words. And then I have some added extras so they can increase the amount of words or they can add, you know, if they want it really fast, deliver it in 24 hours and they can add an extra $20 gig. Um, if they want to, say, give me the video and have me sync it, to the video and um, I just do that in iMovie, um, then yeah, they can pay an extra $20 for me to do that. Cool, so you have upsells so you can actually yeah. make more money, just sort of like a sales funnel in SFM. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Awesome. Um, so so when, when you first start on Fiverr, you only have the one option of having that $5 gig, but then mm -hmm. as you increase and over time, as you do more sales, all that kind of thing, then they give you more options to do upsells. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you run that one and you've got four other businesses that you run? <laughs> I, I don't really see it as four other businesses. It's just like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose when you put it like that, um, yeah, a few different income streams. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And so... Do you utilise the um, possibility of the income streams in the SFM as well? So, like, do you do anything with that side of the business or do you just use the SFM as your own personal trainer, so to speak, to education platform and tools and stuff to run your other businesses? Yeah, at this point, I mainly just use it for my own business. Um, and I'm sure there will come a time when, um, you know, I, I want to start promoting SFM um, more actively. I definitely do still write a few blogs here and there about it, but I don't. Um, I haven't for a while had a, a purely SFM ad, um, mainly because I've been focusing on my other businesses. Cool. So, yeah, but that's awesome. So you're you're basically a, a person who wanted to have businesses. You've gone with your passion, yep. and you're using the SFM to um, to build on your passions. That's that's yeah. That's just awesome. yeah. That's phenomenal because so many people come into the SFM and think that that's all that they, get, they can build. I have spoken yeah. to a couple of members and they they do get quite disheartened towards, you know, probably about the six-month mark and they start to ask themselves what they're doing there and, you know, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to follow, I guess, everything to a T and just build the SFM mm. and, um, and it's not until you sort of have a chat with them and go, well, the SFM isn't only just there that's not the only thing you can make money off. Of. You can actually use what you've learnt there to follow your passion. And yeah, build absolutely. Your passion. So you're, you're and, uh, a lot like, like me. yourself as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I have sort of followed our passions, and we use um, the SFM, I guess, as if that's our backing. That's our that's yeah. our go-to if we need to find something out for our business. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, just. To be completely honest, I'm, I'm not e extremely passionate yet um, about affiliate marketing. Maybe there will come a point where one day I am. Um, but I think it's really important to have some kind of passion behind whatever it is that you do. Otherwise, that burnout point that we were talking about earlier, it's mm. so much harder to get through. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think if I hadn't have followed my passion, 
and thought, well, the SFM business isn't the type of business I want to build. I have another passion. That's the business I want to build first. And then yeah. maybe in the future down the track, I'll look at building the SFM. I think if I hadn't have bothered to follow that passion, I probably wouldn't even be a member of the SFM anymore. I probably would yeah. have just moved on, got a job and been working for the man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I'm just looking at the time and I do have to head off, but um, I want to say thank you so much for that's having me on the call. No yeah. problem. Thanks for coming. It's been thank a you, Kelly. It's been great. It's been wonderful You're having welcome. you on. Yeah, welcome. And, and apologies that I can barely make it to a Thursday night call. This is like a, a once in a <laughs> six-month right. block that I can make a Thursday night call. I think considering all the things you do, we understand. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. No all right, guys. Um, nice thanks. To, to meet you all and, and thanks for, for coming along. I'm sure there's lots more info to come tonight. No worries. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly.